Well guys, today I'm changing out my old thermos for a new thermos, sorry, thermostat, thermos thermostat, and uh, my old one is this one here, it's just a mercury switch type, just took the faceplate off, you got the mercury switch in there, it's been on the fritz lately, don't know what's going on with it, so I'm going to change it out, it's time for it to be changed out anyway, it's original since the house was built 12 years ago. So, I went to a store and bought the new Honeywell. It's the uh, Smart Thermostat. And I'm going to switch it out. That's what she looks like there. We're going to switch it out and uh, see how we do it. So, let's open her up. Get the old one out of the way. Actually, not that big. That's what the unit looks like right there. Comes preloaded with your batteries that you need. Or maybe not, not batteries. They look like some sort of resistors. Whoa. So. Lots of material, mounting plate, back plate, and the hardware. So, let's get at her. Okay, so this is the old uh, thermostat. It's a four wire system. We got black, white, green, and red and they go to the corresponding letters G, R, C, looks like I've got a jumper wire to the R, H, uh, W, and a Y so I know that the new one is a five wire system, it needs a C wire and the C wire is the dedicated power wire so luckily I pulled it apart and this was tucked inside so I've got a C wire and I just have to hook this up to the thermostat and to the corresponding C wire pole on the furnace itself. So I'll disconnect this, hook up the new one and then go downstairs and I'll take you with me when I go downstairs to the furnace to show you. Okay, so now what you can see is I've attached all my wires. Like I said, I didn't have a C wire hooked up to my old thermostat, but there is the extra wire there for me to do the C wire. And I've hooked them all up now. C, R, because there's a jumper wire in here, I don't need to uh, worry about that. I just put the, uh, the R wire into the R and the jumper wire stays in. It came pre-installed, so don't take that out if you don't need to. Then I put in my three others, so now it's a five wire system, whereas I started with a four wire system. Now, if I hadn't mentioned it before, I have turned off my breakers for my air conditioning and my furnace. So now I'm just leveling it up and putting the face mounting the face, face, face plate to the wall. That's good right there. So we'll just tighten the faceplate up. Now luckily with this one, I'm right into the stud. 
This one I just used the pre-existing hole. I didn't put a, a plug in there to hold it because it seems to be working all right. If it, later time it starts to go all wonky on me, then I'll put a plug in. So let's just check that it's level again. Yep, it's good and level. So now I'm going to go downstairs and uh, hook up the C-wire that's loose down there and we'll go from there. Okay guys, sorry this light down in the basement here is terrible looking at the furnace. So this is the extra wire. It's hooked up and that's my C-wire. It's corresponding with the same colors that I've got upstairs. So this is what the board looks like. And the C wire is the second one from the left. So it's... You see they've got the air conditioner hooked up to that as well. So I'll have to run it. Two wires on that one pole. So that's that. So I'll get back to you once I've hooked up the C wire. That's all I really have to do down here is hook up the C wire and then I'll confirm that all the wires are running still the same poles. Okay, so I just connected that one wire down at the furnace like I showed you and powered everything up. And now it's into the setup mode. So we will get my boy to come over and do the filming. Come on over here, buddy. You want to do the filming for me? Okay. So we'll program what you're telling us. You send the thermostat operations. So it's just going through the uh, setup display, obviously. English. It's a home thermostat. Location name. thermostat so uh, I'll go through this program it and uh, get back to you tell you if it's actually working well guys that's the install it seems to work it's just connecting now to try and get uh, outside temperatures I've connected it to my Wi-Fi and I can control it from all my uh, Wi-Fi connected devices computer iPad cell phones so it seemed to work out okay. The furnace is clicked on and it just clicked off now. It's pretty cool. So maybe I'll do a review uh, a few months from now to see how it works when air conditioning also is a factor. So thanks for watching.